Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have two more journals available for sale at my Etsy shop. And these journals are made, the cover, uh, they have hidden spine. And the cover I made with this uh, book cover. I was showing this in one of my haul videos. So I pretty much took the book apart. I cut this part here. Then I cut this in half. It was kind of difficult because it's very um, thick. So I cut this in half and this gave me two uh, front and back for two, um, for two covers, for these two covers. So let me put this away. So it's very solid uh, cover. And because it's so thick, I need a thick fabric and I found this fabric. I think I purchased it at Hobby Lobby. This is really uh, thick fabric, good, very good quality. So I liked it for these journals and so um, that's what I used. So these journals, as you can see, they have hollow back spine. And because I didn't want to do make a hole anywhere in the journal, I added the charms on this clip here. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I'm showing it correctly. So, so you can move it around. You can put it here in the middle. You can put it here. You can move it anywhere you want. Now this uh, ribbon is the ribbon I was showing you I got recently on Amazon. So that's kind of silver color because this is uh, white and blue so the charm I made it's on a lobster clasp you can remove it and you can put it in on a different journal if you want to but it's uh, beads these are glass beads that I purchased on Etsy this is Tim Holtz chipboard and then this stuff here I don't know if you can see I'll try to uh, show it as well as I can See this? See these letters here. So this stuff is see all that. Do you see all these letters in there? That's from my punching machine when I make the spiral journals. That's look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so it started falling because I had too much, and then I opened the tray, and it was just pilling everywhere because it's um, it was full so I didn't toss it I kept it and what a great idea because now you have little letters in a in a bottle but the bottle is um, glass so you need to be careful and I sealed it so it won't open so here is more uh, I had so many of these different sizes bottles and I have no I was cleaning my craft room at some point um, and I just, I moved the bottles somewhere and I can't find them now. So I, it took me half an hour to find these bottles, but anyways, so that's the charm. A little dangle charm. And this journal, both of them have two signatures. So this is loose and removable. You, um, you can keep it on the journal or you can remove it. So then this is the Craftex I was showing you um, on one of my haul videos. That's the Craftex I used for the spine. And then for the pages, it's a lot of um, papers that I recently purchased because they're the closest uh, to my reach. So this is Dollar Tree paper and this is the punch I was also showing lately. So this, then this paper I was showing you, this paper from, um, looks vintage, but it's new from eBay. Beautiful. It says Bloom with Grace. So mostly clean and perfect for writing. A lot of beautiful papers. Uh, they're different paper pads. Probably used three. So 
There's ephemera. And postcard with birds. And um, in this in this in these two journals I included one of these tags I was just showing you how to make. So this is Reader's Digest uh, book page that I folded in half. And then this part here is um, stuff from Golden Books when I make the, for example, spy spiral journals. See, I keep all that stuff. So this is the middle uh, from the page. This is um, the center of the page. And then I, I trim it because I don't need it. But because it has some color on it, you can use it for some projects. So I wanted to show it to you. And then these I'm thinking to use, make maybe some uh, charms with this stuff. So let's put this aside. So here I have a tag that I made yesterday. So this is from when I ship parcels. This is um, paper that I cut out from the label. And then, you know, you can decorate them however you want to. So they look really pretty in a journal. So as you can see, a lot of space. So see here are the tags that I made. This one I didn't finish yet because my thread uh, ended and I didn't fix it yet because I didn't have time. But if you add this on the side, oh, this, this one would look pretty. See how pretty this is? It adds so much color and contrast. And then you can journal on this side. So you can use stickers, like I have stickers here. Here I just drew a vase and then a little bow for the flower and um, that's also a sticker from Dollar Tree and this is um, gemstone. So here I have sticker and stamp and gemstones here so you can really be creative. I, of course you can ink all the edges you know. So moving on. This is a flip. I left it because you can either glue this and this and have a tuck spot or you can keep it the way it is beautiful paper so uh, I think three different paper pads I used and then I used these two different patterns in each signature. So see how pretty it looks. It This goes pretty much with any paper. This is really pretty. Again, I left it here. You can trim it off and make tags with this. This is vintage book page, middle of the journal. This is also um, happiness level, that's a funny thing. Um, this is from the planners I was showing you. Look how beautiful this is. Create, inspire, love, enjoy. Here is another and a couple more uh, old book pages, journaling card. pretty. 
this looks like wallpaper. This pattern. It's pretty page. This is the children's encyclopedia I was also showing. It's a beautiful page. So no, no digitals, paper pad, book pages, and the uh, paper random pieces, and then the paper that I was showing you I got from uh, eBay, yes, eBay. So that's the end of the journal. I'm not going to, actually, I need to take pictures of these. I'm not going to tie them. And then this one. I'm going to put this away. This one might have a little different beads on the charm, but you can see the letters. It's the little, tiny little letters. How cool is that to have letters in a charm? But this is glass, so <clears throat> you need to uh, be careful with this part here. So this one. the tag I need to add a couple of book pages I forgot about that so let's do this really quick You can make envelopes or uh, tags or pockets or something. There we go. That's Tim Holtz paper. Cut out those tags. This piece of paper. As I said, plenty of space to journal. So you see, you can add these tags in random places in the journal and look how pretty this is. This one got glued in there, but I am desperate to take it out. There we go. These are the best moments. Must have been still wet, uh, the glue here. Something is missing in this pocket. Give me just a second. This is nice too. Cause the, I saw that the other journal had more stuff. Oh, this is pretty. And again, you can make your own tags and add them somewhere in the journal. It's 
beautiful, this paper. Well, this would look pretty too. Or this one, because the gemstones are the same as these flowers here. See this beautiful paper? Oh, this is such a pretty page. Middle of the journal. Isn't that pretty? Such pretty paper. And you can journal here too. So again, you can make it a tax pad. And here's the bird postcard. So pretty flowers. And here is this one, it's a bird. So that's the part from Golden Books and you can journal on this side. And that's a flip. end of the journal quite a bit of paper in each and my journals um, for the most part ship priority because they're um, heavy they're over pound so please keep that in mind um, and also that these are glass bottles so if you uh, Put something heavy on top you might break it so they're very delicate and you can move them to the put it put them on a spine or um, on a different journal but this is how these journals come plus the tie that i'm going to do after i take pictures of these and list them on my etsy shop and i'm going to link them uh, underneath 
as always thank you so much for uh, watching my videos subscribing to my channel and commenting under my videos i really appreciate that and i'll see you soon bye bye